Good morning. It is 4.30 and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So I'm going to take you along with me on my morning routine. So let's get started. I'm going to change into our clothes. Alright, morning guys. Um, it is now time to leave for the gym. It's actually, it is 5.18 in the morning. And this is what I do every single morning, Monday through Friday. I'm gonna enjoy some music, enjoy my coffee, and I'll see y'all at the gym. I always know that, hey. You got to roll, here we go. Shawty, you ain't gotta make a fuss hey. When I was down, out of luck, and you stuck hey. It was us in a rut Woke up, I hit a chick for you Baby, give me love, you know I live for you, you, know I live for you. Ride or die, I kill for you Let them talk slick, I'ma have to split a wig for you Why you grab my chain, got me feeling like gyms on you You know I'm here for you Baby, if you ever try to leave, I'ma beg, I'ma plead I'ma have to hit my knees Alright, workout is done. Oh my gosh, it is so cold outside. Go home, take a shower, kind of take you through my post-shower routine, and then make my morning smoothie. So I'm gonna go and drive home, kind of bring my heart rate down, drink some water, and I'll see y'all when we get home. All right guys, good morning. I'm feeling so much better, so refreshed. I love coming home after the gym and taking a shower, doing my skincare. So before we continue on with the day, I wanted to do some body care because that's also very important. I put my body through a lot, uh, as you saw at the gym. And it's really important not only to take care of the skin on your face, but the skin on your entire body. So I'm super excited to be partnering today with Osea. This is a brand that I've used for years. And one of the products I'm going to show y'all is one that I've used before. I used it up completely. It is one of my favorite body oils. And I just really love this brand as a whole. So if you're not familiar with Osea, it actually stands for Ocean, Sun, Earth, and Atmosphere. They use a lot of natural ingredients, especially derived from the ocean, as we'll talk about in their body oil. They use a type of algae that is very moisturizing and hydrating, and they just really try and pull ingredients from nature. And the ocean is very much an inspiration behind a lot of their products. All of Osea's products are gluten-free, cruelty-free, free and vegan. So let's go and talk about my first favorite product and it is the Andaria Algae Body Oil. This is incredible. I've already been through an entire bottle of this and I'm so happy to have it back in my life. It smells incredible. It 
feels amazing. This is something that if you apply at night and you go to sleep, you wake up and you it feels like you just applied it. The seaweed infused body oil is hydrating and moisturizing. It's filled with a bunch of antioxidants that are just gonna make your skin look and feel succulent and delicious. So it just comes in a pump like this. I'm just gonna take, I like to take quite a bit. Oh my gosh, the smell is so good. I'm just gonna apply this all over my arms. It's actually getting really cold in Texas as well. So having a super moisturizing body oil is amazing. Take this across the chest. All right, and then I'm actually gonna take some on my legs as well. My legs really, really need it. You can see all the bruises from kickboxing. I use and abuse my legs, so having something like this is really, really nice. So it's never too early to start thinking about the holidays and I find that getting gifts for people can be such a struggle sometimes, but I don't think you can ever go wrong with anything having to do with self-care. So for the holidays, Osea came out with this jumbo size. This is a whopping 9.6 fluid ounces. So you're getting a ton of product in here. So not only do they sell this body oil in this jumbo size, but you're also getting more bang for your buck when you buy the bigger size. Now, if you don't want to go for something big like this, uh, they have a few holiday kits that are really exciting that I wanted to share with you. Maybe you want something to kind of sample for yourself or give to someone else to kind of sample the brand if they've never tried anything. Or if you don't wanna do the larger size of the body oil, both of these kits do include the body oil in different sizes. So the first kit is an amazing sampling of Osea products. So if you've never tried the brand or you just wanna try a bunch of different things, this would be a great kit to get. Or if you wanna do something like stocking stuffers or kind of pick apart the kit and give different products to different people, this is a really, really nice one you're getting a lot of variety with this one. So you're getting their Ocean Cleanser, their Hyaluronic Sea Serum, their Sea Biotic Water Cream, the Andaria Algae Body Butter, the Andaria Algae Body Oil, which is what I just talked about, and their Anti-Aging Body Balm. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like so you can see the uh, full presentation of this product if you were going to gift the entire kit to someone. So you just pull the little sleeve out and then it's got all the products individually boxed inside of here. So like I said, you can pull these apart, gift them to different people because they are individually packaged, or you can give the whole set to someone as a whole, or this is also a great product to try for yourself if you have never tried Osea products or you just wanna sample some of their other products. Normally this would retail for $98, but for this limited edition holiday kit, you're getting all of these products for $72, which is incredible. This next limited edition holiday kit is going to be for that person who loves to take care of their body. This has the Andaria Algae Body Oil and the Andaria Algae Body Butter. I'll show you as well what this looks like. Just to compare size wise, this is the five ounce size and then the jumbo limited edition holiday size is 9.6. You're also getting your Andaria Algae body butter. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to apply a little bit of this too. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's in gorgeous, heavy glass packaging. As with all of their products, literally looks like cake batter. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. It smells just like the body oil. So let's take a little bit of this. So not only are Osea's ingredients obviously amazing, but it's just such an experience. It's such a luxury experience that you can give to someone for the holidays or give to yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. The great thing about having these holiday kits is you are saving money. With the body oil and the body butter, this would normally cost $96, but you're getting this duo for $84, especially just moving into these colder months, having these very rich, moisturizing, hydrating body products is going to be essential for me. And I'm so excited to have this duo for my daily body routine. So of course, all of these products will be in the description box below. I will put a link. I will also put my discount code here on the screen as well as the description box. So if you are unsure about anything, make sure to check the description box. I will make sure to put all the information there. I'm excited to have all these amazing, luxurious, 
body products, especially like right now when it's cold outside and I've just put my body through so much this morning. So thank you to OCS so much for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's go ahead and continue on with my morning routine. Okay, so it's one of my favorite parts of the morning and that is my morning smoothie. So I don't usually eat breakfast. I mean, I hardly ever eat breakfast after the gym. I just don't want to eat a full meal. Um, I typically, the first meal I'll actually eat is lunch. So I'm just going to make myself a little smoothie. And I figured I would show y'all how I make it. I make it basically the same way every single day. I just really like it. So it's like, why fix what ain't broke? So first thing we need is a blender. Uh, when we moved, we invested in a Vitamix. I've never owned a Vitamix. Um, I've always just bought like the cheap blender about... Two years ago, we bought a Ninja, or maybe like a year and a half ago, we bought a Ninja. I hated it. I think it was like over a hundred bucks. It was terrible. It did not blend anything. And I told Chris when we moved, I didn't want to move with it. Like I wanted to get rid of that blender. It was awful. So we decided to get a Vitamix and I love it. And I think it's totally worth the investment if you make smoothies regularly like we do. I mean, I make smoothies one, two, three times a day, it just depends. Sometimes my kids want one after school or if Chris wants a certain type of smoothie, I want a certain type of smoothie, like we're always making smoothies. So if you make smoothies a lot, these are 100% worth the price, they're so good. So I'm gonna show you how I make my smoothie. Let me get all my stuff. Now I am not a uh, nutritionist or a dietitian or this is just what works for me. This is what I like. So if you have comments on my smoothies, uh, I like to make a protein smoothie in the morning um, just to kind of get my metabolism going and just have something substantial in my stomach. So this is just the one that I've been using. It's the Orgain Organic Protein, um, the vanilla flavor. And this is just the one that I really like. I'm not like married to it. I think this is the second one, second or third one that we've been through. Chris likes this one too. They have a chocolate one too, which is pretty good. Um, and then I think they actually have an unflavored one. So if you don't want a flavor, you just want the protein, they do have one that doesn't have a flavor, but I just like the vanilla. It kind of goes with everything. Chocolate, I don't feel like goes with everything. So I always get the vanilla and um, the serving size is two scoops but I usually only just do one. Um, so I just do one scoop. Now, if Chris and I are, are have sharing a smoothie, I'll do two scoops, but when it's just me, I like to do one. And then this is essential for my smoothies. I love peanut butter. It is my, uh, it's my weakness. I will sit and eat peanut butter with a spoon all day long if I just didn't care about my health. <laughs> So, um, yeah, peanut butter is a rough one for me. Like, I want to put peanut butter in everything. So, to kind of satiate the peanut butter taste, I love this PB Fit peanut butter power powder. I get the sugar-free version. Um, it has peanut flour, monk fruit, and salt. So, the one that's not sugar-free obviously has sugar in it. Um, but this uses monk fruit instead. So um, I don't really measure this. This is actually an old protein scoop. I do not put this much in there. That would be way too much. I do maybe like a third of this little scooper. And again, it just gives it, it just gives it that lovely, lovely peanut butter flavor. I obviously love using almond butter in my smoothies, but this is just easy. I can just keep it in my pantry. And uh, almond butter is so expensive. It's like ridiculously, exp ridiculously expensive. Not that that's an excuse not to use it, but I just really like this. It's just really easy. So those are my two powders that I put in my smoothie every single day. So we'll go and move on to the fruits. As you can see here, I have fresh bananas, but I actually freeze my bananas. So when they start to get a little too ripe, I'll throw them in a little plastic bag, throw them in the freezer, and that way they're frozen. So of course just use fresh bananas, but um, when they start getting a little too ripe, I don't wanna waste them. So I'll either make banana bread or I'll toss them in the freezer and put them in my smoothie. And then I love 
strawberries. So I get the big bag of frozen strawberries at Costco. They're my favorite and they go really well with the peanut butter. Um, they're actually, there used to be this smoothie. Um, if you are familiar with Lifetime Fitness, I used to work there in college, um, but they had this peanut butter and jelly smoothie and it tasted like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It was so good. It was like peanut butters and strawberries and all this stuff. So I love mixing peanut butter and strawberry together. It is such a good combo. And it always reminds me of that smoothie that I used to get when I worked there. But anyway, so I'll throw, throw a few strawberries in there and then throw some blueberries in there just for more antioxidants. Move that to the side. See, this is why I always put my stuff in the blender when it's not attached to the base because my arm sometimes hits the little switch and uh, yeah, that would be a bad day. So, I'm gonna toss some blueberries there. Not too many, I find that blueberries can really overwhelm the smoothie as well. So I don't wanna throw too many in there. And then you can of course do juice or just water. I like to throw a little bit of almond milk. This is just the one from Costco. It's the unsweetened one um, and we go through almond milk so fast in this house because my kids love it. We put it in smoothies. They eat it with their cereal. So I love Costco almond milk because you can buy like a huge box of it and then I keep it in the pantry. And then once you open it, you put it in the fridge. But anyway, not that you needed to know that, but that's why I buy it from Costco. My favorite almond milk is the Califia one. It's just a little harder to get um, my hands on that one. So we just do this one. Last but not least, um, I like to throw just a little bit of agave in there. You can do honey, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer. You could do a little maple syrup. It's up to you. I like to do a little drizzle of agave and then we're gonna blend her up. I almost completely forgot one of the most important things that I put in my smoothie are chia seeds. I also uh, like to put hemp parts in here, but I ran out, so I don't have those. But chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp parts, so, so good. Just really great superfoods. And one last thing I want to throw in my smoothie are organic cacao nibs. I love these. They... They're actually quite bitter because they're just like raw cacao, um, but they just give it such a nice crunch and I don't know, it's just, it's a, it makes it a little bit more hearty. You can also sprinkle some on top of your smoothie too for a little garnish, but I'm just going to toss a little bit of that in there, not too many. This is the glass that I use. It's by the brand Bodum. They do a lot of coffee stuff. Um, actually I have a coffee bean grinder from them, but, um, this one's nice because it's double walled so you don't get the condensation on the outside. And then I've got my little glass straw. And then another thing I wanted to mention is sometimes I'll throw some spinach in here or kale in here. I am all out. Um, so that's why I didn't put it in there. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have anyway. I'm just not really feeling the green smoothie. Um, but yes, usually I'll throw in some frozen spinach, but I'm all out. So. We're just doing fruits today, fruit and protein. And usually I'll have some leftover, so I'll just kind of keep that out until I finish this and then I can top it off. Okay, this will be an extra fancy. Throw some cacao nibs on top. So you can kind of see, just makes a nice little, little garnish. Again, doesn't really do anything in terms of flavor. I mean, you can taste the kind of chocolate flavor. Uh, like I said, they're very, they're very bitter, so it doesn't add any sweetness or anything, but I just love the crunch. That's my favorite part. Yeah, it's the crunch. It, it just makes it more filling, more hearty. That's a good smoothie. Usually I'm just like throwing my smoothie together, trying to get it done as fast as possible. Today I think because I actually took the time and like actually thought about what I was putting in here. It actually tastes really good.
All right, so this is my little workstation, a little table. So that is basically my morning routine. I'm gonna do some emails. I'm gonna edit today's video. And then I have a few more things I have to shoot later today. So I'll probably do some makeup and all that stuff. But yeah, this is my morning routine, Monday through Friday, gym, come home, shower, smoothie, and then hit the ground running and work. It's crazy to think that I've already been awake for <laughs> five hours. That's crazy. Um, and yeah, some people's days are just now starting. So I love getting up in the morning, being very intentional about how I start my day. And honestly, it just sets up my entire day to just be so much better, so much more fulfilling. I feel energized. I feel motivated. I can tell a huge difference during the week when I don't work out first thing in the morning. I have such a hard time staying motivated and having the energy throughout the day. Now on the weekends, I don't do, I don't work out first thing in the morning. And honestly, I usually don't work out on the weekends, but that's like my rest time. Yeah, this is my Monday through Friday routine. I love it so much. And I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me this morning and seeing what I do. This is so crazy. I've never showed y'all this before. Um, but if you like these style of videos, I can definitely incorporate these more into my channel. I don't like to show too much of my personal life, but I think it's nice to kind of see these realistic routines. I'm just excited to get the day started. So thank y'all so much for being here with me this morning. Remember, all of the links to the Osea holiday kits will be linked down below, as well as my code. So make sure to check those out. They are beautiful, like substantial holiday kits. Again, you can get them for yourself. You can get them for other people. That is it. I'm going to continue the rest of my day. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are